These are the first pictures from Marseille of the arrival of the late King Alexander of Yugoslavia on board the light cru cruiser Dubrovnik. Monsieur Pietri, the French Minister of Marine, greets His Majesty on the deck of the Yugoslav ship with a fervor that augurs well for the King's visit. The French, who are allied to Yugoslavia, were to give him a fitting welcome on this all-important occasion. The escort of the 1st Mediterranean Squadron was a fitting background as His Majesty took to the pinnace which carried him to the Old Harbour, where he was met by that veteran statesman, Monsieur Louis Bartou, the 74-year-old French Foreign Minister. Massed troops and vast crowds witnessed, in a forest of flying flags, the warmth and affection of the meeting of these two great men on the Quai de Belge. Then swift tragedy. The car in which His Majesty and Monsieur Bartou were so happily riding into the city had hardly travelled a hundred yards when suddenly the Croat murderer sprang from the crowds to the running board and poured a hail of lead into its two occupants. The king, mortally wounded, sank back into the cushions of the car, never again to open his eyes. Within a few minutes, the end had come. Barely five minutes after landing on French soil, Alexander of Yugoslavia was dead. Louis Bartu was badly wounded and was taken to hospital, where he too, an hour later, passed away. The murderer was struck down by the sword of a mounted French officer, and whilst he lay on the ground still firing, the crowds, frenzied with rage, threw themselves on him. By the time the police got him away, he too was dead. By his hand, two nations are plunged into grief. Two nations have lost of their greatest, lost them by violence whilst they were striving for a better understanding and peace. Tonight, the flickering candles cast dim shadows over Alexander and Bartu as they lie side by side at the prefecture. Is the peace of their last long sleep so tragically fresh in our minds to be an omen of the future?